I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. Oh, nah. This is all bad, man. Y'all gotta put some respect on the Young Bull's name, man. Meek Mill has been the center of conversation the last few weeks. From getting disposed by a whole bunch of Philly artists for blackballing them, to academics offering him a podcast deal for a million dollars. Now, Ak actually went on his live stream to break down the numbers, and looks like he was actually being serious about it. Now, we've seen all kinds of people get some crazy numbers for podcasting. If you look at somebody like Meek, you would honestly think he commands around maybe four to five m's per year so this academics offer for one mil kind of seems to lowball meek a little bit but joe budden doesn't think so joe who has been podcasting for them near 10 years now he's been offered all kinds of deals he's sat in all kinds of meeting regarding podcasting he feels otherwise he feels like meek is not worth a one million dollar deal and on top of that joe also feels like it'll be hard to sell ads on this meek mill possible podcast here's what he said act offered him a million dollars one year deal once a week 52 52 episodes 50 50 ad split I pay, I pay for the production. Mm -hmm. You just do it. Not the worst deal. It's great. Not the worst not deal. Not a bad deal if you meet. Not a bad deal if you're anybody. It's not a good a, deal. Not a bad deal if anybody. I don't know that Meek is about to do a podcast like, like Vlad said. Vlad responded and said, good luck. Good luck giving somebody a million dollars to do, perform a job that they've never done before. True. And he mentioned it's, he mentioned uh, Spotify. Spotify did. Yeah. He mentioned Spotify. Spotify. Yeah. Spotify gave a whole bunch of money to a whole lot of names mm -hmm. and got no return mm -hmm. one pause mm -hmm. all that kim kardashian podcast shit obama, never obama. happened meg and harry never happened the obamas never happened spotify got a bunch that they paid top coin for and never got nothing back so for i clapped when i saw act or from that show you better than me i ain't giving no nigga a million dollars he ain't never did none before are you crazy but if now you, the second that you the second something go wrong over there now I'm at your doorstep. But, but, and do I want to be at the doorstep of Meek Mill over a podcast? I do not. But but do you think that just in the, in the, in the first two months you might get your money back? Possibly. Based but, on a hoopla, based on a potential mm -hmm, based ad on Meek. situation, you'll all get your that, money back? All that shit is a myth, man. If, if, if it's never been clearer than it is today, getting the money from your podcast is difficult for all podcasters. That's a fact. So mm -hmm. it don't matter that I have a name and it don't matter that I'm running the numbers up. Uh, we already seeing people complain about these places not getting paid when you run the numbers up. TikTok might not pay you when you run the numbers up. YouTube might it might get funny. So mm -hmm. I paid all this money. Where's my return? Now when I go pitch this, y'all I got Meek Mill for a year. What advertisers am I getting that? Am I am, am I getting fraction uh, traction from from that? True. I can't imagine it's a lot because you're not doing a lot. That's a good one. Six yes. six thousand sold is the number that's going to advertisers mm. or whoever you pitching to. That's all. And if I about. and if I don't yeah. see if I don't see it looking like a movie over here, but then I shouldn't expect a movie when you over here. Now initially I thought Joe was just trolling. I thought this was Joe just doing content over everything to go viral. But I did some research and he might be right. You guys remember when T.I. had his podcast called Expeditiously? Well, it only took just a few months for T.I. to completely shut down the podcast. T.I. went on No Jumper to explain it. He said, yo, podcasting just became a job for me. I had to read ads. I had to be there at a certain time. And he also said there's no money in it. He goes on to say that he really only made tens of thousands. And you guys know T.I. is a very eloquent speaker. The guy has really good social skills. He can keep up with conversations. So if we're using T.I. as a benchmark for what rappers can possibly do in the podcasting space, you can kind of see why maybe Meek might not command a million dollars. Now, T.I. is not the only rapper that stopped their podcast. I believe Mano also had a podcast he was doing that also ended as well not to say that rappers cannot have successful podcasts but you need to have a certain dedication and determination to make it work and you also need to have a great team that can go and get shit done you gotta get with a company that has a great sales team everything literally has to be lined up perfectly for this to be a success obviously it's all going to be a risk so you as the investor have to ask yourself this question is meek worth that risk i'm going to say yes but meek has to change the topic of the podcast i'm sorry 
but nobody wants to sit and hear reform stories back to back to back. If you want to make the big bucks in podcasting, you got to cast a wider net to reach a wider audience. You guys get in the comments below. Tell me what you guys think about what Joe said. Would you guys give Meek a million dollars for his podcast? Post your comments below. Scratch my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later, man. Hey guys, shop with my boy Chick Smooth at chicksmooth.shop.